Uh, my very special guest today is Mr. Paul Salvaterra, who has really quite an incredible story to tell. Paul was diagnosed as a diabetic many years ago and has lived that lifestyle for some time, and that's changed now somehow. So, welcome. Okay. Thank you very much. An honor to be here. And I'll just preface this with, this is highly emotional for me. This has been the major battle of my life. And I've gone through some big battles. Anyhow, I'm Paul. And I'm almost 68 years old. July will be my birthday. And I'm 5 foot 9 inches tall. I'm 175 pounds. Three years ago, I was 225. So I've lost about 50 pounds. Shortly after my third child was born, I'm diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I'm just turning 36 years old. And I was blowing blood sugars at 400 milligrams per deciliter. And back then, it's hard to believe, but 30 years ago, A1C was not a standardized lab value. It varied from lab to lab. And at least in the United States now, it's a very standardized value. But and all along with that went to high blood pressure, which I took medication for. But the diabetes, I never really took care of myself. Life stress, work, single income. Three kids, life goes on, and uh, it's just come up to three years ago. I turned 65 years old, and I realized I had to do something. I had to get on board, take care of my diabetes. And this last three years, again, they're kind of almost divided into three one-year segments. And the first year, I basically adopted a low-carb keto lifestyle. I was probably eating 300 plus carbs a day. I went to 240. I went to 90. I went to 30, 20, 10, zero. That took 14 months. So call that a year. And I had quite a bit of improvement. All blood pressure medication gone. A lot of skin issues that I had all my life gone. I had like a perennial sore on my knee. Sometimes it was open, sometimes it was scabbed over. Just one really like, it was like a dull pimple or something. I don't know what you want to call it. And nobody could do anything for it. Disappeared. Gone. Anyhow. So the second year was mostly carnivore. So I saw, hey, I can consult with Bart K. So I went ahead and hired Bart K and we consulted. And maybe the best thing I ever did in my life. And about the last 20 minutes of that, we talked about these Cerule nutraceutical products and it was very late november of uh about the 29th or 30th of uh november last year and i hit the internet pretty hard and i looked back forwards and forwards about this some rule company and i said you know i understand this isn't going to happen overnight it may take a year and it may take a heavy dosage i'm i'm in so within, it was December 7th of last year, I started taking this Cerule products. I was controlling my blood sugar basically with insulin, both rapid acting and um, long acting insulin. I was able to eliminate the rapid acting insulin, but I was at a pretty high dose of Lantus insulin, about 30, 33 units every day. But my objective, the only reason I consulted BART was, I don't want my type 2 diabetes in remission. I want to be off all insulin. Now, there's a thing out there called C-peptide test, and for those who don't know, that measures how much insulin your body's producing. So I was on the low end of the range and below the low end of the range. So day after Christmas, last year, I went and got a, um, it was 0 0.7. I started taking four base products, what I call base products, but the flagship product is the Stem Enhance Ultra. This stuff goes into your big, long bones and releases those beautiful adult stem cells that go out and repair your body. I take eight of these capsules every day. So 90 days goes by, and I'm still shooting 33, 30, 33 units of insulin every day, maintaining my blood sugar, eating pretty strict carnivore. And so time to go get another C-peptide test. Comes back 1.9, 270% increase. And the only thing that changed was I went on Cerule Nutraceuticals. According to these lab results, my pancreas is making enough insulin. I should not have to be injecting insulin. So about 20, about three weeks ago, 
I just cold turkey stopped taking my insulin. And for about seven days, my blood sugars were up around, I was averaging about 170. And then started coming down. And what I tracked, I got a CGM. And I was like at 172 14 days ago. And this morning, I was at 144. I dropped 28 points of blood sugar in 14 days. I never had a result like this before. When I quit insulin just uh, 45 minutes ago, I had the lowest blood sugar I've had now in the last month. I was like 104, which is beautiful. You know, got it. And, uh, it certainly seems that the difference was, you know, all I know is never been able to do this before. Of course, I never took Sorel nutraceuticals before. And so it is what it is. We are where we are, and it's good. And damn, I'm pretty damn excited. 